Hey guys, it's your boy Comedy Shorts. What? So I'm here with the best track star deck profile, and um, yeah, let's get right into it. Basically, my deck just focuses on going first because I focus on winning the dice roll. Whoa, what? Yeah, I like next level that shit and just yeah. But um, yeah, the deck just focuses on going first, and um, my side deck focuses on going second. But you'll see what I mean when we get into it. So for my first, uh, for the first thing I'm gonna do is the Trickstar deck, obviously, the Trickstar core. So for the core, triple candy nor triple like this, double Lily Bell. Now I play two Lily Bell only because in the grind games I like recurrence and I like adding back my shit. It's really good and I find it like busted when it goes off. You know what I mean? Uh, triple light stage, terraforming for obvious fucking reasons, and reincarnation. Like, this shit is crack. I just don't have a third. I know, guys, what? Yeah, I actually don't have a third. It's depressing, but yeah. I have a little secret tech for you guys. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. But, um, yeah, Malefic Cyber and Dragon. Now, this card has a lot of ups and downs for me. But it fixes a lot of shit. It does the... It does a very similar thing that Eater of Millions do, or Eater of Bajillions. Uh, it gets over big monsters. And, like, it's just a fat body on the board. Also, it's a free summon that you can just link away so easily. And it gets you out of so many situations. Like, this card has won me quite a bit of games. And, yeah, you know? Well... For the next section, we're going to hand traps, and obviously, the best hand trap in this deck, John Lock, because the combo is there, and why the fuck not? Konami, please, hit this, hit this. Jokes, no, I'm playing it. Uh, we play double Ghost Ogre. Now, I find Ghost Ogre, a lot of people would tell me to play Ash. I prefer Ogre only because it hits a lot more, in my opinion. Now, you can argue that Ash just hits as much. But um, Ogre gets rid of a lot of problems. Like for instance, if you're about to be OTK and your your opponent gets greedy, they're just like, hey look, I'm gonna activate this monster effect, and you're like, Ogre, and it's gone. And they can't OTK you, you know? Or, like that's happened quite a bit. Or like, against Spirals for instance, hitting the Resort, hitting Double Helix, then they have to add it to hand. There's so much you can do. Ash does just as much, but like I said, it gets rid of the problem. We have Triple Gamma. Now, like I said, this is a going first build. And Gamma's there for obvious reasons. Add, activate Light Stage. They want to Ash it, you Gamma in response. They're like, what? Whoa. But then they next level you and Gamma you back. So you're like, shit. It's alright though, don't worry. No stress, no stress. Because, say they Ash your Gamma, you have this card. Now, this card has only been an up for me. I've only bricked if I open multiple copies, but hey, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. You open on multiple copies of anything and you just lose. Unless uh, you're playing Spirals. But yeah, hint hint, wink wink. Uh, this... This card hits a lot of things. It hits Infernoids, versing them. Your deck actually does lose to Infernoids, considering the fact that they consistently bring out bodies and beaters. And you're just, your deck cannot deal with that. Henceforth, why I'm running one copy of this. You're running a lot of blowout cards as well. Like, I guess, ter Torrential Tribute. It helps you a lot, you know? And yeah, that's just my reasoning. Uh, also, hand traps, common sense. Let's go, boys. Uh, triple scapegoat. Like I said, the deck has considered, like issues with beaters, so bringing out a Bolo Dragon is like a fuck you to your opponent. I play double enemy controller. Now, I play this card for obvious reasons. I want to take my opponent's body or I just want to take other stuff. But yeah, it, it's, it's really good in a lot of situations. As I said earlier on, Torrential Tribute. Now the next card, a lot of people are going to disagree or agree with me. I play Vanilla Mirror Force. Now what Vanilla Mirror Force does, we all don't know what it does obviously. Just like MST, you know, it just, it pops all your shit, it pops your opponent's shit and it says, fuck you. This card is one of the best additions I've had to the deck so far. I've played Storming, but I've lost because I've been playing Storming quite a bit. And it's the same with Drowning because there are times when I actually want like to keep my shit 
and it's just I can't because of the pain jumping. So this move force, in my opinion, is a lot better. A lot of people can argue because of the new rulings that blazing can be better as well, but I mean shit. Let's just not get into that. So yeah, that's 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 it for the main deck. And my extra deck, people, we have five YCS tokens. Why? I don't know. I need four, but five is better. Shh. We have triple Link Spider, a Mrs. Radiant, and a Proxy Dragon for the for the scapegoat engine. Now I played triple Link Spider because you can easily just as make Mrs. Radiant and just make your borrower. This way, not only if they TT, you can just recycle one of them, but you can also have these two in your extra deck to make. Ningrusu. Now what this boy does is hilarious. It sends a card from your opponent's field to the graveyard. This card is like both the bane to my existence and the love of my life. It's like that one girlfriend that stalks you constantly but you just hate her but love her at the same time, you know boys? Sorry. Basically, it gets my... It just... After Borrowload, they go over your Borrowload and you have a second scapegoat set, but you don't know what to make, you just make this. And, like I said earlier on, a Borrowload. This, for obvious goddamn reasons, and you're an idiot if you don't know what the fuck this is for. I play one Holy Angel, and... Oh, it's amazing, but it's shit at the same time. Like, it's the one card that you don't use that often. <laughs> Whoa, what? What? Okay. I use Deco Talker because it's ulti. I mean, the higher the rarity, the higher you can top deck into the card. Because, you know, part of greed draws cards from your extra deck. What? Hit markers everywhere. We have Saryuja. This card, I make it quite a bit, actually. It fixes quite a bit of hands, but it also makes me lose the game sometimes. It just depends, because it allows me to get my blowout cards second game. Because second game I'd side in Kaijus, Lava Golems, Raigeki's Dark Holes, a lot of things. And this allows me to scry slash draw into them, and it's just, it's really good. I find it amazing. The one Cyber End Dragon, because I obviously play bad cards like Malefic, it's fine. This is a win and a loss at the same time. You make this, it either gives you an additional to, uh, three turns to win the game, or gives your opponent an additional three turns to win the game. You can lose or win off this card, obviously, like any other card in the game. But, I use this card in a lot of things. Like, for instance, against the mirror, this is a god card, because you just, it stops you from burning quite a bit. And, it just, it helps so much, until they link it, they, they start link something, you're just like, shit. Um, it also helps against spirals, which shuts them down quite a bit. Mech Knight invoked as well. Mech Knight invoked especially dice to this card, because they, they, ha they don't main deck any outs to this. Not for well, not from my knowledge at least. I guess if they're stupid enough to make their characters, that's a different story. Now I run this for obvious reasons, for God, for the love of God. If you don't run this, I'm just gonna sit there and look at you like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? And stop, please get some help. Um. Okay. For my side, I play triple lava golem and the kaiju engine. Double Dogron, double Gamma Seal, and the one interrupt the Kaiju Snowball. This for when I'm versing Crocs, because I can summon it on my side of the field, and from time to time it is actually bigger than the Dogron, because some people are stupid enough to bring out enough, I guess, Mr. Boys, to do this shit. And this, or well, against everything else, except for Dinos, which aren't really in the meta right now, so you're fine. I have these cards. Now, currently, when I'm speaking, the true Draco deck is still alive, but it's probably dead by the time this video comes out. So this is soon to be cut for a set of ashes. Um, I only have a 14 card extra deck, which is, uh, sorry, side deck, which is kind of sad because I don't know what the fuck to put my last card as. 
I mean, common sense dictates put it on like a third enemy control block. Whatever. We have a Raigeki and a Denko and two Twin Twisters. Now all of this is made for you to go second and for a good reason. Going first, winning the dice roll, say you win game one, game two, you're gonna have a lot of difficulties if your opponent let it says go second and you still have a going first side. And siding out all your going first cards and putting going second cards when your opponent least expects it is like savage. So yeah. Um obviously I was nervous during this video, so for cock off. And uh yeah. Shit, thank you for watching the video. I'm gonna fuck off. But Hey guys, it's your boy! What? <laughs> okay, so I'm here with this madass trickster profile. It's trash. Don't worry, I know how it goes. But, um, yeah, top locals, best team. Okay, so, for my trickster deck profile, I focus on going first, and for a good reason, obviously, because normally, your mom is your dad. <laughs>